Malaysia is the second largest palm oil producer in the world that produced approximately 20 million tons of CPO per annum, covering a huge 5.5 million hectares of palm oil estates. It accounts for 39% of world palm oil production and 44% of world exports. About 100 million tons of fresh fruit bunches are processed each year in Malaysia. Technically speaking, 40% or 40 million tons per annum are turned into biomass palm residues. In 2014, Sarawak alone produced about 3.5 million tons of CPO per annum, processed about 17 million tons of FFB per annum, 40% or 6.8 million tons per annum are turned into biomass palm residues. These palm residues, empty fruit bunches and mesocarp fibre, if left in the open field, will emit harmful greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane gases, which attribute to the depletion of the ozone layer and pollute the river system if incinerated, will result in air pollution. Presented here is footage of a palm oil mill which had been mismanaged and accumulated years after palm oil waste and as a result, causing tremendous damage to the air, water and environment. The Malaysian palm oil industry is a significant contributor to Malaysia's overall economy, accounting for 53 billion ringgits of Malaysia's gross national income. The palm oil industry provides employment to more than half a million people and livelihood to an estimated 1 million people. For many, Palm oil provides a way out of poverty and a chance to raise their families' aspirations, enabling them to send their children to school and even university. So what can the Malaysian palm oil industry do to better manage the palm oil waste so that the industry can be sustainable? One of the solutions is to convert these palm oil residues to clean, sustainable and green energy. Motivated by Olive Energy's vision, Heal Our Common Home, it is the aim of the founder of Olive Energy to convert non-fossil fuel palm oil residues to clean, sustainable and green energy. The chairman of Olive Energy is Dato Sri Dr. Albert Hong Hing Kei. He is also the chairman of one of the largest architecture and engineering firm in Singapore, RSB. Under his leadership since 1964, RSB has become one of the most established architectural firms in the region. He was founder of Singapore Institute of Architect and in 2015, he was conferred first patron for his dedicated efforts in supporting architectural education and the profession. He was also founder of the Sarawak Mulu Resort. The Renewable Energy Power Purchase Agreement signed between Sarawak Energy and Olive Energy on the 4th of March 2014 was the first of its kind in the world. It will introduce world-class CFB conversion technology that converts palm oil waste into clean renewable energy to Malaysia. It involves the development of 12.1 megawatt biomass electricity generation plant in Muka, located next to Rinwood Palm Oil Mill. The electricity generator will be sold to the off-taker, Sesco. The heart of the conversion technology used for this small biomass power plant will be circulating fluid dyes bed, CFB utility boiler, designed specially to handle difficult fuel 
such as empty fruit bunches and mesocarp fiber. Circulating fluid dyes bed boiler can prevent clinkers formation and can effectively burn EFB below 800 degrees Celsius. This will allow the plant to operate continuously at 24 by 7, only shutting down for annual maintenance. Biomass power plant using CFB boiler can be commonly found throughout Japan. Kagoshima Biomass Power Plant is an example of a small size 6 megawatt power plant using CFB boiler. 100% EFB was sent to Sumitomo Nihama R&D Center for firing test to confirm EFB suitability as fuel with CFB boiler. As a result of the Fukushima nuclear plant disaster, Japan has experienced a substantial growth of small-sized power plant now numbering around 12 units using CFB boilers. New REPA was strengthened and signed with Sarawak Energy on 19th of August 2015.